Hi, it's Mr. Wasman, and today we are going to be solving uh, number stories that involve decimals, specifically amounts of money. We're in our uh, math journal on pages 261 and 262, and as you can see down at the bottom half of our screen, uh, I've also included two uh, illustrations, stock up sale posters, one and two. And that is because in order to solve these number stories, we need those posters to reference. Use the stock up sale posters to solve each number story. So let's take a look at the first number story in this uh, page. Jeff bought five toothbrushes and one tube of toothpaste. What was the total cost? Well, every time I approach a number story, I want to uh, use the ruckus strategy, which is to read the problem multiple times. Underline the question, circle important information, come up with an action plan, and then solve the problem. So let's read that problem again. Jeff bought five toothbrushes and one tube of toothpaste. What was the total cost? So I need to come up with an addition problem because when I see the word total, that's a, a, another word for add. Five toothbrushes and one tube of toothpaste. So let's go ahead and look at our poster. So let's find the toothbrushes first. Now it says here, one toothbrush is going to be $1.38. However, if you buy five or more, you get a discounted price, uh, paying $1.13 per brush. Sometimes retailers will try to sell things in bulk uh, at a discount to uh, get them off the shelves. Maybe it's something that they bought a lot of and they haven't been selling very well. Um, so five toothbrushes will cost $1.13 a piece. And then we have a tube of toothpaste that individually is $1.39. So now that we have some prices to work with, let's jump back in. So five toothbrushes, and we know that if we buy five toothbrushes, they will cost $1.13 a piece. And then once we solve that, we're going to add that to the cost of one tube of toothpaste, which was, got to double check, $1.39. Okay, so I'm going to add the product of 5 times $1.13 plus $1.39. So the first thing I need to do is I need to solve what's in the parentheses, and that is 5 groups of $1.13. Now when I am multiplying... Uh, a number that involves a decimal, I just treat it as a multi-digit multiplication problem, and then I think about the decimal later on. So I'm going to use the uh, partitioned rectangle strategy of multiplication. So I'm going to multiply everything by 5. So a dollar thirteen would be one whole plus one tenth plus three hundredths. So here's how I'm going to approach this problem. So I'm going to multiply five times one, which is going to give me five, and I'm going to represent that with five decimal zero zero. I'm then going to multiply five times one tenth or ten hundredths. 5 times 10 is 50, so I'm going to put that in there, but I'm going to remember that I need to include my decimal on the uh, left side of my 5, because 5 dimes would give me 50 cents. And then I'm going to multiply 5 times 3 hundredths, or 5 times 3 pennies. Well, 5 times 3 gives me 15, so 5 groups of 3 pennies would give me 15 pennies. So again, I have to remember to put that decimal point to the left of my digits. So now that I have my partial products all together, I can now add those uh, products together to get my total product. So I'm going to add $5 plus 50 cents plus 
15 cents. I'm going to add those all together. Now I want you to take notice of something. I lined up all of my decimal points vertically so that they line up the place values. Okay, and that's how I'm going to make sure that I add my numbers correctly and that all my place values are in the right spot. So I'm going to be adding 0 plus 0 plus 5, 0 plus 5 plus 1, that's going to give me 6, and then I'm just going to bring down that 5 there. So 5 groups of $1.13 would give me $5.65. Now that's just one half of this problem. I now have to take this amount, $5.65, and I'm going to add it to $1.38. Oh, $1.39. That was the price of the other item. So let's line those two problems up just like we did with our partial products. $5.65, include that decimal, plus $1.39. Get that right this time. And again, I need to make sure that I've lined up all of my decimal points so that when I add the digits uh, together that they are in the correct place value. So here we go. 5 plus 9 is going to give me 14. Carry that hundredth. 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 plus 3 is 10. That's 10 tenths. Another way of thinking of 10 tenths is one whole. So I'm going to put a 1 in the whole number column. And then 1 plus 5 plus 1 gives me 7. So my total amount, or total cost, for one tube of toothpaste and five toothbrushes is going to be $7.04. And that is how you would approach these problems. You have to read the story problem, and you have to consult the prices uh, listed on the poster. If you have any questions, please contact your math teacher. Otherwise, have a good day, and we'll talk again soon. Thanks.